Hey guys, Jonathan here, and I've got the Avengers Tower because LEGO sent it early for me to review, but that's not what this video is about. In September, I actually got to go to LEGO headquarters, and I got to see the unveiling of this. So the four LEGO Marvel set designers that worked on this entire set actually unveiled it to us for the very first time. I've been sitting on the secret for that long, and I want to bring you in the room and show you what it was like that day to see this in person for the first time. Now, when it comes to these reveals, I really don't like to cut anything out or edit around it because I want you to experience it the way that we got to experience it in the room. However, this time, I did have to cut something out. So, they also showed us another LEGO Marvel set that's coming out in 2024, but that embargo is not today, and so I did have to cut out the snippet where they revealed that. So, I'm sorry that I had to cut that out, but that reveal will be coming sooner or later, and uh, I think you'll be excited about that one too, but... Let's see what it was like seeing the tower unveiled for the first time. Yeah, I guess we'll introduce yourself. My name's uh, Justin Ramson, senior model designer. Uh, you first. Uh, I'm Mark. I'm a senior graphic designer. Uh, and I'm Mark as well. Uh, I'm a senior model. Yeah, and today we'd like to introduce you to our latest superhero SKU for uh, this Black Friday-ish. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, them is this one. So I don't know if you want to reveal the box. Let's do the box. The box arrived Whoa. yesterday. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> We started building this yesterday. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most of the minifigures in a retail set ever. Um, 32 characters. Um, what? Designed by Marvel. Yep. I don't know if you want to take them through. Oh, we got a lot of great ones. We wanted to get as many. Uh, well, what did you say? You wanted it to be the most Avengers tower we could get. So we've got characters from. Uh, across the across the movies. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, so we've got yeah, we've got damaged uh, a damaged Mark Six Iron Man. Oh we've got a Mark Seven Iron Man. We've got the Mark Seven Pod. So you guys did a great job building on the side of the model. Uh, we've got a Mark One Ultron, which is my favourite. Uh, yeah, a bunch of uh, different ones. We've got Pig Fig. We've got a Micro Fig. And yeah, a lot of fun stuff. Of fun stuff. Yeah. Um, Junior was responsible for the Leviathan and um, the Quincher. Mark and I worked on the main tower. I was also designing Gringotts at the same time, so I wanted to make something even taller uh, than Gringotts just to annoy George. But um, yeah, it comes with a few new elements. We've got this new curved wall element, which you may or may not have seen in Gringotts. It's just they were designed at the same time, but the first idea was to have it in here. Um, we've got a new uh, wig element for the Hulk. So for the first time ever in LEGO history, you can turn the big, 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 big Hulk's head and uh, yeah, his hair will follow, so innovation. Um, we also have the, the curved posing element, which uh, yeah, a few of the superhero team managed to get in before, before us. Yeah, but it was designed for this. So. Yeah. The, the whole model um, is, uh, yeah, takes, takes stuff off. Um, yeah, so it has insides. We have uh, yeah, many floors with different wow. things to find. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, man. So, yeah, you're on the ground floor, you've got the um, reception area. Middle floor, you've got um, the walkway and two Captain Americas, including America's ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing we built this whole model for. Uh, you've got an Iron Man lab, you've got a, a prison cell, you've got the bar and the, the hangar room for the Quinjet, or the Quinjet hangar. You've got a, um, a lounge area and then the lab for the uh, scepter. Um, and it's been a hell of a lot of fun to design. Um, it comes with uh, modular holes um, and also the modular fix, so you can uh, connect it to Bugle and other superhero sets, but also, yeah, your whole modular streets and Ninjago Cities and, and you name it, we've got a room for it. Um, it's a full 360 play experience. Um, the box is in the way. So look, one's on the back coming through with a, a hot dog. Um, has a bird. It has an Avengers logo. Um, yeah, it's the it's the most ultimate superhero set we've ever yep. done, um, and a true homage to the Avengers and Infinity Saga. We we tried to bring in lots of Avengers scenes that might not necessarily have taken place in the tower, but the tower is it's there. We have the space. We can put in things from the heli carrier and things, and make it happen. And my favourite figure here is a. Uh, a guy called Kevin, he's an Avengers fan, um, but it's really fun to put him as a, <laughs> as a mini <laughs> No likeness to the, the other Kevin, but yeah, it's yeah. Kevin, the Avengers even fan. that's the name on the box. Yeah, even though it's the name on the box. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, we really like it. We hope you like it too. Um, it comes out very, very soon. Um, so uh, start saving now. <laughs> yeah. yeah.
question or no? Or? No. Appreciate your time, though. Thank you very oh, much. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, we're here all, all right. day. So, oh. <laughs> yeah. For those that have interviews with us. And if you don't, tell. Thank you. What do we need to hold over here? Thank you. All right, guys. Be sure to hit like and subscribe to stay tuned to the channel because, of course, I'll be reviewing this soon, and we've got tons and tons of Avengers Tower content coming soon. I'd love for you to be there for it. So be good to each other and I will catch you soon.